Hi guys, welcome to my new video. Most of us have seen the big transmission lines in our locality. We know high voltage is passing through that, but we don't know why. Why electrical energy is transmitted at high voltages? Let's look at the answer. This is a simple diagram indicating the flow of electricity for your understanding. Electricity is generated at generating station. It may be hydroelectric power plant, thermal power plant, nuclear power plant, etc. And it is transmitted through transmission line to distribution substation. Distribution substation you can see in your locality. In distribution substation, we reduce the voltage from high voltage to low voltage. And it is served to our building, apartment, etc. In most of the countries, electricity is generated at 11 kV or 11,000 volts and it is stepped up using a stepped up transformer to 220 kV or more voltage for long distance transmission. In India, the maximum transmission voltage is 765 kV, it's owned by Power Grid Corporation of India. What will happen if we increase the transmission voltage using a step up transformer? The power will remain the same. We know the equation P equal to Vi cos phi. P is the power, V is the voltage, I is the current. Cos phi is the power factor, which will be very high for transmission lines. So we are assuming cos phi as 1. Then the equation will be P equal to V into I. Power equal to voltage into current. P will remain the same. Increasing V means decreasing I. I is the current. So if we increase the voltage, keeping power is the constant, then it will cause the reduction in current. So we are increasing the voltage means we are decreasing the current. If we are transmitting in high voltage means we are transmitting with a low current. Why we are increasing or stepping up the voltage for the long transmission? We have the advantages of doing so. First one is it will reduce the power loss. Second one is it will reduce the cost of power transmission. The third one is it will improve all over the efficiency of transmission. So we have three advantages of high voltage transmission. Let's look at it one by one. Let's examine a practical scenario. Let us calculate 200 kilowatt three phase AC power transmitted in 1000 volts and 10,000 volts. Assume one ohm resistance in transmission line. Let's take scenario one. What is the current in scenario one? Equation is P equal to root three into V i cos phi. Cos phi is the power factor which is very high for the transmission lines. So we are taking it as 1. It will be around 0 0.9721. As a demonstration purpose, we are taking it as 1. I equal to P by root 3 into V. P equal to 200 into 1000 divided by the value of root 3 is 1.73. So 200 into 1000 by 1000 into 1.73. The current will be 115.6 amps. Then let's calculate power loss during the transmission. Equation is P equal to I square into R. I we know the current 115.6 amps then P equal to 115.6 into 115.6 into 1. One is the resistance that we are assuming as 1 ohm per kilometer. The power loss will be 13.36 kilowatt. Then let's take scenario 2. In scenario 2 we are transmitting in 10,000 volts. Current in scenario 2 P equal to root 3 Vi cos phi then I will be P divided by root 3 into V if we assume cos phi as 1. If we substitute the values, it will be 200 into 1000 by 10,000 into 1.73. That's the value of root 3. Then the current will be 11.56 amps. The power loss equation is I square R P equal to 11.56 into 11.56 into 1, 1 ohm per kilometer. The value of P will be 0 0.134 kilowatt. If you are transmitting 200 kilowatt in 10,000 volts, if the resistance is 1 ohm per kilometer, then power loss during transmission will be 0 0.134 kilowatt. If we compare both the scenarios, in scenario 1, we are using 1000 volts for transmission. Power loss we got as 13.36 kilowatt. In scenario 2, we are using 10,000 volts for transmission. Then we are getting the power loss as 0 0.134 kilowatt. From these values, it is clear that if we are increasing the voltage of transmission, we are decreasing the power loss. This calculation is for a demonstration purpose. Power plants are designed in megawatts. 200 kilowatt transmission is very less in practical cases. From power plants, power in megawatt will be transmitted. The transmission voltage also 1000 and 10,000 is very less. In practical cases, it will be high. Second point is, it will reduce the cost of power transmission. We know if we increase the voltage, 
the current will be decreased. For larger current, we need larger cross-sectional area of the conductor. That means, if we transmit in high current, we need higher size conductor. Then more material is required, more conductor is required, then more cost will be associated with it. So, if you reduce the current, then the area of cross-section of the conductor also will be reduced. That's how we save the cost. The third point is increased efficiency. We saw, if we are increasing the voltage, it will reduce the power loss, material cost, then equipment associated with it. So, we can say, if you are transmitting in high voltage, it will increase the overall efficiency of the transmission. These are the advantages of transmitting in high voltages. That's it guys. I think you got a fair idea about why electricity is transmitted in high voltages. Let's meet in the next video. Bye.